page 432 continued african literature para <clears throat> african african literature is a comprehensive expression of african culture oral literary tradition psyche and contradictions in african society caused by the colonial rule it reflects the aspirations dreams psyche conflicts and changes of the african people living in the african continent consisting of west africa that is gambia ghana and nigeria south africa and east africa that's kenya malawi tanzania and uganda the colonization of africa and the consequent british influences shaped african society which was primitive and traditional the supremacy of the colonial rule was not only resented but fought with courage and determination which ultimately ushered in an era of independence in african countries the dominant foreign influence could not diminish the native sensibility which found expression in conflict against the foreign rule the colonial powers exploited the african people tried to wipe out their cultural tradition in short shook the very foundation of african society para however the introduction of european educational system benefited the african people it opened new dimensions for development and provided prospects of contact with other countries an era of enlightenment and intellectual and rational approach began a synthesis was formed between the old and the new the old traditional values of african society and the western openness and enlightenment english was molded to communicate to the native africans and also the readers all over the world the african sensibility and ethos english in africa has assimilated african myths symbols folk traditions landscape sounds rhythms and effects thus the nativized or africanized english is used for expressing expressing african sensibility and ethos which is called capital n small e g r i t u t e negritude in african literature african literature is an expression of the cultural heritage traditional values social conflicts and crises and powerful western influences on the people of africa the african writers have presented the essence of the myths and legends of their country para african literature has added a new dimension not only to commonwealth literature but to the literature of the world Modern African literature also articulates the crises and contradictions, poverty and corruption, hunger and deprivation in African society. African writers are liberal and moderate, assimilative and enlightened. They know what to take and assimilate from other countries. writers like wall w o a l e s o i n k a s o y i n k a k a m a chinua c h i n u a h e b a c h e b e k a m a james n g u g n g u g i k a m a christopher o k i g b o k i g b o and many others have presented a universal view of humanity in their writings They have also written about transformation in African society. African literature is rich in poetry and novel. Para poetry. African poetry bears the indelible mark of the rich and variegated oral tradition. It is very old. It is conspicuous for its musical quality. African folk culture and traditions have been authentically expressed through poetry. 
the myths and legends of Africa, especially of the Yoruba, Y-O-R-U-B-A people, occupy a prominent place in African poetry. Commenting on commenting as <clears throat> commenting on the importance of folk songs and folk culture in African literature, N. Stop Pratima P R A T I M A remarks Cologne quote The African folk songs contain the world view and the joys and sorrows of the African people stop. All folk songs can be sung by a group of people to a definite rhythm learned from the elders. Stop. In fact, the folk songs and folk literature introduce the individual to the depths of ancient traditions. Stop. Unquote. Para. The contribution of famous African poets is given below. Christopher O. Kigubo, K-I-G-B-O, a renowned African poet, followed European mode of writing, which clearly shows the influence of T.S. Eliot, Ezra Pound, Yeats, and Hopkins. His famous poems are Labyrinth's Comma, Heaven's Gate, and The Limits and Other Poems. Page 433. His early poems have a ritualist pattern which characterizes traditional African poetry. His later poetry is suffused with Igbo, Ibo, folklore, and Christian values. Thus, in them he creates a religious mythological world. His poetry is distinguished by a correlation between myth and ritual. He himself observes about Heaven Gate in the introduction to Labyrinth. It was, quote, originally conceived as an Easter E capital sequence stop. It later grew into a ceremony of innocence stop. Something like a mass, dot, 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 the celebrant, comma, a personage like orphans, comma, in about to begin a journey, unquote, stop. It traces the spiritual journey through different states of consciousness. The poet undergoes purifications and ultimately attains, quote, a state of grace, unquote, with, quote, peace, comma, prayer, and humility of mind, unquote, stop. Time for worship softly sings the bells of exile, softly sings the Angelus, A N G E L U S, unto my ears, comma, softly sings my guardian angel, stop, para. Diop, D I O P, and Leon Damas, D A M A S, poignantly express in their poetry the feeling of intense heart, H U R T, pain, humiliation and angst caused by the invasion of European culture over African. The following lines of Damas's famous poem, Black Dolls in Black Orphans, reveals his sense of loss and nostalgia, loss of identity and the discovery of self, Cologne. To feel myself, myself, a new self from one I was yesterday, yesterday without complications, yesterday when the hour of uprooting came, will they ever know the rancor of my heart? Question mark. In the eye of mistrust too late opened, they have stolen the space that was mine. Customs, comma, days, comma, life, comma, song, comma, rhythm, comma, effort, comma, pathways, water, comma, home, comma, smoking grey earth, comma, wisdom, comma, words, comma, palaver, ancestors, comma, cadence, comma, bands, comma, standards, comma, lands, comma, Trampling the soil, stop, para. 
Volsoinka, who was awarded Nobel Prize for Literature in 1986, is a poet, novelist and dramatist. He is the major writer of Nigeria who stands unrivaled in African literature. He is indebted to African and European traditions in his minute analysis of man's relationship with his fellows, the past and life and death. His writings have a message for the betterment of society. He is a writer with a strong sense of social commitment. Soinka's collection of poems, Shuttle in the Crypt, CRYPT, 1972, Mandel's Earth, 1989, and Idanre, I-D-A-N-R-E, Express, The Rootlessness and Loss of Identity of the Modern Man. The latter poem, Idanre, deals with the inseparableness of life and death. It, according to Bruce King, comma, expresses the Yoruba, Y capital, cosmic vision and relates the genesis of the world. His English is chest, symbolical and mythical. For example, Cologne. All hail Saint Atunda, comma, first revolutionary. Grand iconoclast or at Genesis and the rest in logic. Zeus, comma, Osiris, comma, Jaweh, J-A-W-E-H, comma, Christ in trifoliate, packed with creation, comma, and the wisdom of Arunmila, O-R-U-N-M-I-L-A, comma, Ifa, I-F-A. Dwine, D-W-I-N, eyes, comma, multiform. Stop. Para. Diopa, famous poet, articulated the African sense of intense hurt and pain caused by white rule and culture. So does Leon Damas in his collection Black Orpheus. Novel. African novel is realistic and reflects the bruised psyche of Africans who were subjected to British slavery and colonization. The wounded African sensibility caused by the frustrations and exploitation during the white colonial rule has been authentically expressed in African fiction. Nigeria is the center of African writing. The Ibos and Yorubas of Nigeria are intellectually gifted, enlightened and educated. English as the common language and the medium of expression and education evolved a feeling of unity among 250 ethnic groups of Nigeria. They molded English as an instrument for the expression of African nationality, sensibility, ethos and aspirations. Chinua Echibe vehemently asserted that it was his mission, quote, to help my society regain belief in itself and put away the complexes of the years of denigration and self-abasement." During the 20th century, African literature attained maturity and the writers revealed, comma, in the words of Dr. K. R. S. Iyengar, comma, unquote, quote, comma, quote, a mastery of form and sheer linguistic originality and competence, unquote, stop. They brought to their work, quote, a freshness and versatility, comma, and above all, comma, an integrity that compels attention, unquote, stop, para. The first Nigerian novel which became immensely popular was Amos Tutuola's T-U-T-U-O-L apostrophe S. The Palm Wine Drinkard, 1952. The Palm Wine Drinkard, D-R-I-N-K-A-R-D, 1952. Stop. It was followed by Feather Woman of the Jungle. Chinua Echibe is one of the greatest African novelists in contemporary literature. Echibe vividly describes the past in Things Fall Apart and The Arrow of God. 
analyzes the present in no longer at ease and forecasts the future in a man of the people. Stop. Page 434. Things fall apart and the arrow of God are classical studies of traditional Igbo society during the colonial rule. Izulu, E-Z-E-U-L-U, has been dragged and unlawfully detained. Obika and his friends are whipped when they want to know why they are not paid for their labor by the whites, named Winter Wattam and Clark. The whites molest and rape Negro women, although they hate the black. Wright always thinks about Negro maidens, quote, the thoughts he had since first seeing fully grown girls going about naked were forced to sleep, unquote, stop. The whites spiritually and morally humiliated and belittled the Negroes. Colonization amounted to, quote, territorial, comma, moral, and spiritual plunder of Africa, unquote, stop, para. Plomers, P-L-O-M-E-R, Turbot, T-U-R-B-O-T-T, Wolf, W-O-L-F-E, is also a saga of the exploitation and psychic, moral, and spiritual disintegration of Africans during the colonial rule. <laughs> Echibes, the arrow of gold, shows the colonial Nigeria, seen from the eye of African. Plomer's Tarbot Wolf is a vivid presentation of the same cruelty and exploitation as witnessed by and narrated by a white man himself. Wolf, a sensitive white, has feelings of empathy with the Negroes and finds nobility and innocence in them. Para. James Ngugi, N G U G I, the Kenyan novelist, short story writer and playwright, writes about the colonization of Kenya and Mau Mau traditions. His famous works are Weep Not, Comma Child, River Between and a Grain of Wheat. River Between expresses the feelings of intense pain and hurt experienced by the Negroes, their implacable anger and rebellion against the white man's burden which to them was, quote, a blood-stained monument of tutelage, unquote, stop. Quote, Ngugi is concerned, unquote, comma, writes Palmer, comma, quote, not merely with the wickedness of the oppressors, comma, but with the weaknesses of the indigenous people themselves, unquote, stop. In a grain of wheat, he evolves a new technique which does not require a hero in a novel. No character is more important than the other. There is no hero, no redeemer or no villain in it. It is the masses who are important. Mungo Gikonyo, G-I-K-O-N-Y-O, comma, Karanja, comma, Mumbi, M-U-M-B-I, and the white men, Thompson are five centers of interest in novel. And Gugi's three novels, quote, describe the painful birth of political consciousness in their respective heroes, unquote, stop, para. The African women who were active participants in the social life in the tribal past were empowered in the 20th century and actively took part in various spheres of social and natural life. They became good writers. Flora Nwapa, NWAPA, who served in many capacities in the education department in Nigeria, was a famous novelist. Her famous novel, Ifuru, is a realistic portrayal of everyday Africa. It is the simple, well-told story of Ifuru, the daughter of Enwashiki Ogin, O-G-E-N-E, who marries a poor farmer, Adizua, against the wishes of her father and tribal kinsmen. Enwapa creates the ideal of African womanhood in the character of Ifuru, 
who heroically faces the cruelty of her two selfish husbands, Adizua and Eniberi, the sorrows inflicted upon her by the unthinking society, and she ultimately emerges as a quote, hard working comma, patient comma, loving comma, helpful comma, uncomplaining comma, beautiful unquote comma, and venerable. She vindicates the eternal virtues of womanhood. Enwapa's language is simple, lucid, vigorous, and unaffected. Para. Sombin, S O M B E N E, Onsmane, O N S M A N E, Onsmane's God's Bits of Wood, expresses the defiance of black women against the white oppressors. Okara, comma. Okara, comma. Yetunde Isan, comma. Ikawensi, comma. NZQ, NZKWU, comma. Rubadri, comma. Mphalele, MPHAHLEL, comma. Okut P. Bit, BITCK, comma. Dennis Brutus, comma. Fugard, comma. Kofi A. Wuna, W. W. N. E. R. Comma, J. P. Clark, Comma, Ilichi Emadi, Comma, Amos Tutuola, Comma, Gaudi Mar, Comma, Gabriel Okara, and Cyprian Equenzi, E. K. W. E. N. S. I. are famous African novelists. Drama In African drama, Wolso Incas, The Swamp Dwellers, and the strong breed are famous. New Zealand literature, para, R. A. K. Mason, comma, Arsula Bethel, comma, Robin Hyde, comma, Charles Brash, B. R. A. S. C. H. and Alan Kurno, C. U. R. N. O. W. were famous poets who wrote under the influence of Romanticism. Mason is considered as the first original and gifted poet. Bethel's poetry is meditative and religious, unambiguous and unpretentious. Detail and Transcell, T-R-U-N-C-E-L, are her famous poems. Fairburn's collections of poems are He Shall Not Rise, comma, Dominion and Three Poems, Sparrow. Smithian, comma, Ruth Dallas and Basic Dowling, avoided romanticism and are modernist. Other modern poets are Baxter, whose poetry is remarkable for variety and exuberance. Daryl Glover, Smithian, Charles Pears, Ruth Dallas, a renowned woman poet. Alistair Campbell, Kevin Ireland, Albert Wendt, and Bill Manhaya. James Baxton led the Wellington W-E-L-L-E-N-G-S-O-N group of poets, para. Charles Brash, whose collection of poems, The Land and the People and Other Poems, is conspicuous for, for elegiac note, comma, is a renowned poet. Stop. Page 435. Alan Kerno's Landfall in Unknown Seas and a Small Room with Large Windows express his concern for his country and a conflict between imagination and reason. <clears throat> Alstair Campbell's early poetry is romantic and imaginative, but in later poetry he emerges as an exponent of modern poetry. Poetry began late in New Zealand but now is mature and has established its literary identity. Para. Novel writing flourished in New Zealand. Henry Butler Stoney, S-T-O-N-E-Y, was a pioneer in novel. His Toranaki, 1861, was the first novel in New Zealand. The novels of the pioneers like Dugald Ferguson, comma, Alexander Bathgate, comma, Lady Campbell Hume Nisbet, comma, Rolf Boulderwood, comma, Seigerd, S-I-E-G-U-R-D, Vishinowski, W-I-S-N-I-O-W-S-K-Y, Vishnyoski, comma, 
Vincent Pike and George Chamier are remarkable for realism, conventionality and didactic note. The colonial period is vividly and realistically depicted in Ferguson's vicissitudes of bush life in Australia and New Zealand and Mates, M-A-T-E-S. Some famous novels of the early period contain picturesque and realistic descriptions of Maori life. Maori were the members of the race of people who were the earliest inhabitants of New Zealand. The novels on Maori life are Homnichets, The Rebel Chief, A Romance of New Zealand, and John White's The Maori at Home. Para. Ellen Ellis and Vogel pioneered the feminist fiction in New Zealand. Grossman's famous novel, Angela, a messenger combines moral note with melodrama. Satchel glorifies Pakcha, P-A-K-C-H-A, culture, which he thinks is superior to Maori culture. Satchel, in his famous novels, The Elixir of Life and The Greenhouse Door, tires, tries to balance realism and romance. Jean Devaney, D-E-V-A-N-N-Y apostrophe S, famous works, Poor Swine, comma, The Butcher's Shop and Lenore Divine are a curious mix of communism and feminism. Didacticism continued to influence novelists of the late 19th century and the first three decades of the 20th century. Para. The realistic fiction of the 40s of the last century for the first time reflects the true national character of New Zealand and deals with themes and modes with provincial flavour. These novels contain the criticism of rising materialism and other evils. Some famous novels of this period are Sergison's S-A-R-G-E-S-O-N apostrophe S, Man Alone, comma, Robin Hyde's Wednesday's Children, Florence Preston's The Gallows Tree, Robin Moyer's Word for Wont, and Noel Hilliard's Maori Girl, comma, Maori Woman, and the glory and the drama. Sylvia Ashton, in her novel Spinster, comma, incense to idols and bell call expresses feminine viewpoint. Para. New Zealand society in the 60s was influenced by urbanization, materialism, feminist revolution, and racial and cultural consciousness. The novelists endeavoured to cultivate their own mode of expression. Famous novels of this period are Maurice Gee's The Big Season, published in 1962, Shad Bowles' Among the Cinders, comma, John Summers' Earthen Ware, comma, Michael's Henderson's The Log of a Superflu- Superfluous Sun. Michael Henderson's The Log of a Superfluous Sun, comma, and Janet Frames, The Rain Birds. Novels on Maori culture were also written during this period. Duckworth in Married Alone imparts a psychological angle to novel writing. Mike Johnson's Lair, L-E-A-R, comma, Sandy Hall's The Godmothers, comma, and Wei In's I-N-N-E apostrophe S, The Department, are some famous novels of this period. Para. Modern New Zealand fiction is concerned mainly with humanitarianism and multiculturalism prevailing in society. Stop.